Hello and welcome back to the wood shop. I have here a CW5200 chiller which has the same controller as the CW5000. This one however came configured for the intelligent mode and that means that it's going to choose room temperature, add or subtract a temperature difference as its set point. So in this case it's going to be room temperature minus 2 as the factory default. That's not really ideal for CNC routers as this one's connected to or especially laser tubes where you want it running at a fixed temperature no matter what the room temperature is. You don't want that fluctuation. You want to have a constant temperature which is going to give you a constant power, constant protection. So I'm going to go over how we can reprogram one of these which is set to intelligent mode into the fixed mode and get it set up for the temperature you want exactly. Firstly, we're going to start by holding down both the up and the down arrow and turning the unit on. You get a bit of a different startup display here and it's going to show RE on the screen. After six seconds, we'll go away and be back at factory defaults. We want to do a reset no matter what because if someone's been annoying and set a password on your unit, you want it back to factory defaults so you know what the password is because you do need a password to get into the settings on these. Now that you've got the unit reset, let's go into the settings mode. We do that by pressing the up arrow first then the set button immediately after for five seconds. It's gonna show zero. This is the password input. Factory default password is eight. So we can hit set. F0 is what temperature we want it to be set to, but if you want it set lower than 20 degrees, you're first going to have to go down to function nine. And we're going to change that one because it will not go lower than this. This is your lowest temperature allowed. I'm going to drop this all the way down to three degrees because we can get pretty low temperatures here in the UK and I want to have this set all year round. So I'll do that and I'll hit set. Now we can go up to function zero, we can go set. I can set this down to the 15 degrees that I want. If you are using this on a laser tube, you will want to pay attention to what your dew point is at the time of year you're in, if you're in a very hot country. Say you're living in Australia, you've got a very hot dew point, so you want to make sure that that is going to be sufficient. F2 is how much temperature difference we're allowing. So I'm gonna to say to hold within half a degree, plus or minus half a degree of 15 degrees is where I want this to keep the water temperature. F1 is only for the intelligent mode, so that doesn't matter. Uh, F, so F3 is the one which is going to matter the most to us. This is the way of control as the Chinese call it. Setting zero means that we're going for manual mode, which is what we want. F4 is our alarm for temperature. Now I have that set to 15 degrees. If it goes over 25 degrees, I'll get a warning. I'm gonna put that down to seven and a half, just for fun. Now F5 is our allowable low temperature. I'm gonna drop this down to five. F5 is our allowable low temperature. I'm gonna drop this down to five. So I don't really want this to go far below freezing. So I'm gonna drop this down to five. I don't really want it to get too much colder than that. Now F6 is the alarm for a room temperature. If you're in a country which goes over to 45 degrees ambient or you're in a room which gets over 45 degrees ambient, you will want to change that higher, otherwise you can leave it as it is. F7 is the password, leave it as it is so you'll always know what it's 8. F8 is the highest temperature allowed, I'm going to bring this down to 25, I don't want the water temperature going above 25, this will cause an alarm. And F9, as we already know, is our lowest temperature allowed. Now we need to make sure we hit the RST enter button. 
to save that within six seconds. Now this is going to kick on and start showing the water down. There we go, we're at 15 degrees as we set it. Should switch off in just a second. There we go, chiller is off. Now just running the fans to cool down the radiator. It's going to drop a little bit more as there is quite a bit of thermal mass there. Thank you very much for watching. I hope this helps you with your chiller. The CW5000 series are fantastic chillers. They're really powerful, really easy to use. Anyway, if you are interested in lasers, workshops, CNC stuff, please check out our other videos. Consider hitting subscribe. Make sure you hit the bell for notification. If you've got any other suggestions for the CW5000 chiller, make sure you leave a comment. We'd love it if you found this helpful to leave a like on the video. Thank you so much for watching. Have a fantastic day.